Hey guys, it's your SD Bestie Tay here, back with another video. So tonight I wanted to talk to you guys about facial steaming. And I wanted to talk about facial steaming because it is something that is really beneficial to incorporate within facial services. They have a lot of really good benefits to it as far as really giving your skin the openness and the circulation that it needs for your skin to really absorb products. So I wanted to kind of bring it in more of a setting at home because it is definitely something that you can do to kind of pamper yourself and kind of give you that facial treatment at home. And it's also really beneficial as well because you can definitely personalize it with different kind of oils and herbs to kind of give your skin that really nice deep cleansing. So I have put together a kind of simple recipe of something that I like to use at home, just kind of once a week when I feel like my skin has a lot of like sweat buildup. Um, like today, we had a family beach day that was really nice, but the sun was shining, the sweat was coming down, and also with having to reapply SPF, I just feel like I have a lot of buildup on my skin. So I feel like it's definitely perfect for me to do this right now and share this with you guys. Okay, so these are the ingredients that I put together for my steam for today. So starting with the lavender essential oil, I absolutely love it. It smells amazing. It has really great calming and soothing properties to it. And I also like it for its skin benefits. It has really great anti-inflammatory and antibacterial properties to it. So it's going to be really great for preventing and treating breakouts on the skin. The next thing that I have is Himalayan pink salt. And I like to use finely grounded Himalayan pink salt because it has really great detoxifying properties to it. It's gonna help to draw toxins out of your skin, which I think is gonna be really great after a long day of being in the heat and sweating. And it's also really great to incorporate with bath steamings, mixing it with bath salts, using it as a body scrub is really great for your skin overall. The herbs that I have put together are peppermint and chamomile. And I decided to use the peppermint because it has that really refreshing kind of feel to it. So I'm really looking forward to that. And I wanted to use the chamomile as well just because it also has more of those calming and soothing properties to it. So it's gonna help with um, the redness that comes after being out in the sun all day from the heat, um, some broken capillaries can come up on your skin after a long day of that as well. So these are gonna be really great for drawing toxins out of your skin, refreshing your skin, and preventing future inflammation on your skin. Alrighty, so as y'all can see, I had to get my hair wrapped up because I'm definitely going to be ready for bed after this whole process. And I already got everything kind of starting to like brew up in my bowl. So I have like all of my herbs and my essential oil and salt and everything just kind of working its magic in here. So it already smells and feels amazing. So I'm definitely about to just add a little bit more warm water to it just to keep that stain flowing. And then I do have my towel here that I'm going to kind of put myself around in like this. And then you can kind of like take the herbs and just really lock in all of that steam just so that it can really get soaked into your skin. Enjoyed this video. I will definitely be having a lot more 
DIY and home spa tips to bring to you just so that you can bring the relaxation from the facial room to your home. So until the next video, peace, love, and abundance, and I'll see you guys soon.